Okay, fifth grade, lesson 100. Woo-hoo! And this is on simplifying Ooh. decimal numbers. Okay, we kind of worked on this just a minute ago um, with our last lesson. Okay, uh, let me just show you something up here. So if I have 2.01 and then I have 2.01, but I add some zeros in the beginning and the front, are those two the same numbers? Yes. Yes. Now, what if you were to see these? Would you say they were the same number? If you saw them like that? No. No. Okay. So this is important. When you're working with decimal numbers, always line up the decimal and put them side by side or top and bottom so that you can see that this is a terminal zero to the left and this is terminal zeros to the right. Then we can see that that is the same number, okay? I, ha I had several kids miss this, mix this up last year, okay? So, let's try another one. Is this and this the same number? You would have to line up the zero. Let's line them up. Where would the decimal be on this After one? the zero, 20, and then. Yes, it would be the they same. They are the same zero. I could add another zero, or I can take that one away. It's still going to be 20. Very good. All right. Then, if you see this one, are they the same number? Yes. Yes, because let's take this and line up the decimals, and I can always erase the double, add, or erase the terminal zeros, or add two more for that one. Same number. Very good. So, you can remove the zeros in front of whole numbers or after decimal numbers. Okay, that's kind of the rule. All right. Now, here's what I want you to do. Okay. Um, they told us to add 3.75 and 2.75. And the sum, which means the answer to an adding problem, is going to give us 6.50. So, they're just going to go and give us the answer. Yeah. Okay, can I make this, if I tell you to simplify this, that means I want you to get it to the smallest or the, um... Well, we have to do the greatest common factor thing? No, no. We're just going to simplify this. Oh, uh, we so have to divide it, right? I'm just going to remove that zero. Hmm? Okay? Well, we've already answered the problem. 3.75 oh. plus 2.75 equals 6.50. And you can leave it at 6.50, and that's fine. Okay, yeah. but if you want to bring it to the simplest form, you would take away your zero to show that it's 6.5. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Basically, if we were looking at money, let's pretend this was money. $6.50. Okay? Is that the same as 6.5? No. Kind of, because listen, I have $6, and since it's in the tenths, I have five dimes. Does that still give me 50 cents? Yeah. Yeah. So I have no pennies. No pennies. Oh. See, isn't that weird? It's kind of weird to think about, but that's okay. It's just the simplest form. Yeah. It's not that you, I, I'm, if you get this as your answer and you leave it, I'm completely fine with that. Okay? Okay. Um, but leaving it in its, in its simplest form is this, 6.5. That's its simplest form. Okay, let's try another one. Um, they tell me to attach a zero at the end of five without changing the value of the number. Can I attach a zero here without changing the value of this number? Put a decimal after the five and add a zero. Very good. Still five. Very good. Excellent job. Okay, that is lesson 100.